How did NASA, once the unrivaled leader in space exploration with achievements like the 1969 Apollo moon landing, find itself in a position of relying on private companies like SpaceX for critical aspects of its space missions? This shift raises questions about the factors that led to NASA's relative fall back in the space race and how companies like SpaceX have unexpectedly surged ahead. NASA's journey from the pinnacle of space exploration to its current state is marked by several factors. Budget cuts, changing political priorities, and the complex nature of space technology development have gradually eroded its leading position. The retirement of the Space Shuttle program in 2011 was a significant setback, making the U.S. reliant on Russian Soyuz spacecraft for manned missions. This reliance underscored a need for a new approach, propelling NASA towards partnerships with private sector companies. Among the various private enterprises collaborating with NASA, SpaceX has emerged as a standout success. Initially met with skepticism, the company has surpassed expectations, marking significant achievements in space technology. The Artemis program is a key collaboration between SpaceX and NASA aimed at returning humans to the moon. This program has become one of the most important and high-profile missions in the current space exploration landscape. However, it has encountered significant delays, primarily due to challenges with SpaceX's Starship. Originally planned for a moon landing in 2024-2025, the Artemis mission's timeline has been pushed back, with current estimates suggesting a potential delay until 2027. This information, provided by the United States Government Accountability Office, points to the difficulties in developing the Starship. The complexity and technical demands of creating a spacecraft for a lunar mission have resulted in longer development times than initially expected. These setbacks have highlighted issues within NASA. As a result of these persistent delays, there's an indication that NASA's patience is wearing thin. The agency, which has heavily relied on SpaceX for this mission, seems to be considering some unexpected decisions regarding the future of the Artemis program and its collaboration with SpaceX. Before we delve any deeper, please make sure to subscribe to our channel for future updates about the Starship and SpaceX's other groundbreaking missions. SpaceX's role in NASA's lunar missions began when NASA awarded them a $2.9 billion contract to develop the agency's new lunar lander. This decision marked a significant change in NASA's usual approach. Typically, NASA would split such large contracts between multiple companies to reduce risk and promote competitive development. However, in this instance, Musk's SpaceX was the sole recipient of the contract, which was unexpected in the space industry. This decision particularly affected other major aerospace companies like Blue Origin, who felt excluded from the process. In response, Blue Origin filed a complaint with the Government Accountability Office, arguing that NASA had changed its selection criteria last minute in a way that unfairly favored SpaceX. The choice of SpaceX by NASA can be attributed to the capabilities of the Starship, SpaceX's fully reusable rocket system. Starship is designed to carry both cargo and astronauts to destinations like the Moon and Mars. Its large cargo capacity and the relatively low bid of $2.9 billion, compared to competitors like Blue Origin, were key factors in NASA's decision. NASA's decision to choose a single company for the Lunar Lander contract was also influenced by budget constraints. Congress allocated only $850 million of the $3.3 billion that NASA had requested for developing two lunar landers. This reduced funding played a significant role in NASA's decision-making process, although NASA stated that this contract was just the first phase in a larger lunar exploration plan. As of September 2023, the project had experienced delays in 8 out of 13 critical milestone events, each causing additional months of delay in the overall schedule. Notably, the inaugural flight test of Starship was postponed by seven months due to issues related to the launch pad. This delay exemplifies the complexity and ambitious nature of the project, which involves developing a fully reusable spacecraft capable of carrying humans and cargo to the moon and beyond. Adding to the complexity of SpaceX's Starship development, the spacecraft has had just two launches to date, both in the same year. 
These were test missions from SpaceX's Starbase site in South Texas, aiming to send the vehicle's upper stage on a trajectory towards a designated area in the Pacific Ocean near Hawaii. However, neither test flight fully achieved its objectives. In the debut mission, a critical issue occurred when the two stages of Starship failed to separate as planned, leading SpaceX to intentionally detonate the vehicle around four minutes after launch. The second mission, conducted last month, showed some improvement, successfully achieving stage separation. Despite this progress, the mission ended prematurely when Starship's upper stage exploded about eight minutes post-launch. The timeline for Starship's third flight remains uncertain. While SpaceX founder and CEO Musk has indicated that the vehicle should be ready soon, there are more challenges ahead. Technical issues are not the only hurdles. SpaceX also needs to navigate regulatory processes. The company is currently awaiting a launch license from the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration, which is also investigating the anomalies encountered during the last month's launch. Another critical component of the Artemis program facing delays is the development of moon suits by Axiom Space. Axiom Space, under a $28.5 million contract with NASA, is tasked with designing and creating the next-generation spacesuits for the Artemis III mission. These suits must meet stringent NASA requirements, including the integration of an emergency life support system. This feature is essential for ensuring the safety and survival of astronauts in the event of unexpected situations during their lunar explorations. However, the initial designs for the suits, as provided by NASA, did not include this vital emergency life support system. As a result, Axiom is facing the challenge of potentially having to modify or even completely redesign parts of the suit to incorporate a larger oxygen tank. This modification is not a straightforward task, as it involves careful consideration of the suit's overall design, weight, and functionality. The process of redesigning could lead to further delays in the Artemis program, as the development and testing of spacesuits are critical for ensuring the safety of astronauts on their lunar missions. However, hope is not lost. Jim Free, NASA's associate, remains optimistic about SpaceX's capabilities. While he acknowledges the potential delays, he maintains confidence in SpaceX's eventual delivery of the Starship Lunar Lander. Yet the clock is ticking, and delays could prove costly. Even though NASA's current contract insulates them from potential cost overruns, a delayed or failed mission could jeopardize the broader goals of the Artemis program. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.